Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome last year's winner of the Best Actress IFTA for Noble. This year, not so busy. Your host, Deirdre O'Kane. Thank you so much. Good evening and welcome to the IFTAs, the whitest show on earth. <laughs> Anything Hollywood can do, we can do better. If it wasn't for the fake tan, we could be seen from the moon. But the fake tan is clearly working for us. I've been looking at footage of the red carpet from backstage and it's Guna Jassus. As far as the eye can see, you look like you've all come straight from a Peruvian prison. <laughs> when I say anything Hollywood can do, we can do better, I obviously don't mean bigger, as our budgets have considerably fewer zeros than theirs. And yet somehow, we managed to compete. What an extraordinary year it has been. Brooklyn, indeed, please do give yourselves a round of applause. Brooklyn Rebellion Room, Stutterer, Viva, Vikings, Game of Thrones, My Name is Emily, Penny Dreadful, The Survivalist on Klondike and Sing Street. I think it's fair to say that we have punched above our weight. Unlike... Conor McGregor. <laughs> Welcome to Ireland. It doesn't take long to get a knock around here. <laughs> we do love you, Conor, because we love success. We cling to it like a life raft. And that's because we suffer from small island syndrome. That's why we sometimes send our most gifted out into the world, our Fassbenders, our Collins, our Searches, our Gabriels, to spread the word that we're still here. We're still writing. Send money. Sometimes our gifted ones return to us. I myself returned last week. <laughs> Having just spent 10 years living in London, I couldn't believe the welcome that I received. O'Connell Street was lined with people. <laughs> they were waving flags. I wasn't expecting that. We really do give welcomes like nobody else. Liam Neeson has also returned to us this evening. He's here. He is here to receive a Lifetime Achievement Award and a word of note, Liam is taken. I am not talking about the movie Taken, I mean he's actually taken. Stop flirting with him now. <laughs> Bob Geldof is also with us tonight. He... <laughs> he is taken too. <laughs> Very good. Um, <laughs> Bob thinks he's here to present an award, but I'm afraid we've brought you here under false pretenses. We want you to be our next Taoiseach. <laughs> um, and if you're not interested in that, Sir Bob, perhaps you would consider asking your friend, the Queen, what you think about taking us back. <laughs> I mean, we've given it 100 years, we've got no government, it's not working. <laughs> our beloved President, His Excellency Michael D. Higgins is here. He is one of our keepers. We couldn't possibly afford to send him away. He was the one, after all, to have the vision to reinstate the Irish Film Board back in 1993. which I must add is the reason that we are reaping the rewards with such a glorious year in 2016. The film board will get around to thanking you, Your Excellency. They just take a while to get back to people. In November, Irish women of the theatre rose up in what became the Waking the Feminist Movement and we salute you. Particularly as that movement has infiltrated our film and television world. The CEO of the Irish Film Board, James Hickey, responded gallantly by pledging that within the next three years, half of all the films they fund will be written, directed or produced by women. Over the years, I have seen many women leaving the IFTAs covered in hickeys. I think... <laughs> 
I think tonight it's fair to say that the hickey will be leaving covered in women. <laughs> this year marks the second Film and Drama Award since the IFTA Rising, when the ceremony was split into two events. <laughs> it was truly brutal, turning sister against sister, Gleason against Gleason. There were fights in the RTE canteen, food was thrown. That said, the world knows that Irish television will always go the extra mile. So some of the actors from Love Hate are still being arrested a year after the show has finished. <laughs> this is, of course, the centenary year, and we all went 1916 mad, and the IFTA is no exception. This is the very room, the round room in the mansion house, where the first doll assembled in 1919. Hello, room. <laughs> Auditions are currently being held for the 30-second doll. Please call Maureen Hughes. <laughs> T.G. Cahar's sensational on Klondike leads the nominations tonight. It is up for nine <laughs> IFTAs. The show is a gritty western about three brothers from Connemara who braved the 1890s gold rush to make their fortune. Though nobody knows why they didn't just stay at home and take the grant, they have the gold. <laughs> and then, of course, there's Game of Thrones, one of the biggest shows on the planet and about to air its sixth season. Finally, there's something positive about the phrase, shot in Northern Ireland. Apologies if that seems tasteless. We really need to focus on the incredible things that we can achieve together on this island. There are only six million of us after all. That said, if every man, woman and child in Ireland bought a ticket to Star Wars, it still wouldn't cover the repairs to Skellig Michael. <laughs>